right now we're going to be giving an interior bid for one of our one of our clients he's a real estate agent and so this is a home that he is selling and it's a million dollar home and so it's not we're not going to go in and do a full repaint but what we're going to do is we're going to just touch up certain areas and we might have to go corner to corner depending on if the paint is flat or the paint is satin or it's semi-gloss if it's flat we can touch it up if it's satin, then we'll have to repaint kind of corner to corner. Satin's really difficult to touch up just because it's got that shine. So when you touch up, if it's like three or four years old, it kind of, it flashes what it does. And so it's a little bit shinier than other spots. So if it's a million dollar home, if it's corner to corner, it's not that bad of an idea to just repaint certain uh, walls. Just to, I mean, if it's if they're spending a few thousand dollars and, and it could get you more money in the transaction than it's worth doing so that's what we're doing right now right here we are nice place okay so what we'll do is we'll actually inspect every wall so we'll start in the back room looks like there's a bedroom right over here and we'll inspect each wall so you look at like small patches like this that were just done. I mean, we'd have to sand that down and there's little smudge marks here and there. I'm thinking that we'll have to probably go wall to wall. I mean, corner to corner right here, just cause that's going to be sort of difficult to touch up. I, I think all the other walls are looking really good. Let's take a look at the master bathroom. So we have a couple smudge marks here. And we have a couple holes to probably patch right here. One right here. So you, I, typically you have to go corner to corner just because if you do little touch-ups here and there, it's not gonna match up correctly. From the way that these walls look from the side, they actually are a satin finish. So it'll be really hard to just touch stuff up. This is the bathroom though. And typically you use semi-gloss or satin. For sure it's satin in here, so. Here's one. So I see total of two walls because there's also a patch right here and you can tell where they touched up right here. Uh, there's, it's a different sheen. So it's shiny and then it's not shiny. So you can see the difference between the two. All of it needs to be painted. Uh, this is an option. Sometimes people don't really care about closets. I think they should if they're selling it, especially for the listing price. I think it's a 1.5 million, somewhere around that. It's got golf course views and it's a huge layout. This is probably one of the bigger layouts here at Trilogy. Now, I don't think the quality of paint is all that great just because it looks like the dust is harder to clean off. Usually when you get good high quality paint and you paint on there, it's easy to clean. So this wall. We have um, probably this door and this door jam. So we, we definitely have a satin finish that's on all the walls. So the satin finish is gonna be extremely hard to touch up. So if we do touch any of the walls, it's gonna to have to be corner to corner. Well, corner to corner means that you actually have to go where the break of the wall is. So here, and you have to paint all the way up to the ceilings. So if we were to patch this right here, and even if we had the original paint, it's still gonna show really bad. So this wall with those holes need to be painted. So let's say an average size home, on the central coast, like maybe you don't really get into this much detail, but since it's a high, higher end home, that's when you'd wanna look into probably doing corner corner because whoever is looking at this home probably is going to pick everything apart. So you wanna paint and you want everything to look top notch so people will pay top notch for the, the actual home. This looks good. Now typically this is, this is gonna have dings and dents. So I'd say this wall right here, Below the stair staircase is, is gonna probably need to be done. Looks like kind of a guest suite room right here. You can tell they had some either a picture, probably a picture up here. But man, what a cool room. Might wanna put a few hours into at least touching up the baseboards. Uh, we'll go take a look at the garage to see if we have previous paint. But So we might put in like an hour or two in baseboard touch-ups in this room because this is a little bit more beat up in the baseboards. So um, we'll put this downstairs suite. So we got a couple holes from a towel rack. Definitely needs to be done, so. Touch the pantry. 
And then here's a, here's a cool little wet room right here. So we got the washer dryer wet room right here. Looks very clean in here. They, they really took care of this. Pretty nice solid cabinets. Again, you can see the sheen uh, in the sunlight that it's, it's shiny. On homes like this, I prefer a flat, flat finish. See, the thing with the flat finish is that when you have tall, tall walls, it, it, it dampers the light. So I, I feel like it gives the, the room a, a luxury feel. So, I mean, it's really nice when it's a flat finish. And when it's shiny, I don't know what it is. It just looks a little cheap to me. So this looks really nice. This is a nice big kitchen, nice big island. I left a nice gen air for the next people. That's pretty nice. Okay, so we're back out here in the living room. Let's head up the stairs. This is the game room or the office or the TV room. And you look out, man, this is just really cool. Let's check out this view right here. So this is the third hole at Monarch at Trilogy. This is really nice. So you get a nice view of the par five. That's great. What a cool, what a cool spot. You can tell maybe that they were downstairs a lot of the time because this doesn't look like it was really worn down at all. Let me close this door. See this, this is why this is not going to be fun is right here. So I don't know what this little space is meant for, but it looks like they had something mounted up here and they had a couple optical cables, but this is really bad right here and, and you can't really touch it up. I mean, this is two walls right here that it would be nice if it didn't have to go over, but you're going to have to still paint up that high. That's going to be really tough. So the landing is going to have to be painted. So the kids rooms, uh, I think you're going to have to, we're going to have to pull all these off and fill these holes. We might be able to get away with, oh, you know what? This is flat paint right here, but I don't think it's still going to touch up that nice. So there's one wall, two walls that have to have it because look at all these smudges. I mean, that's not going to come off and that ain't going to work. And you can't punch that. That's not going to, that's not going to be easy. I even think this wall needs to be, so all these, all these walls need to be done. And the closet looks fine. I wouldn't touch the closet. Okay, so let's, let's head downstairs. Um, well, you know, I can measure this room. So let me measure this room real quick. I'll walk it off, so. So 15 by 10. And there are about eight, nine foot ceiling. So that's gonna be that. The landing is going to be a little bit diff difficult. So this is going to be it's going to start right here because we don't need to paint this. It's right here and across. So so it's about 14 feet, 14 by nine, and then this is going to I'm going to have to measure down there. Four so and then 12 by 12. So since this wall is going all the way across, we're going to have to patch that. Man, that's tough. Look at, look at where this, look at where the wall, so it's going to be hard to make a line down here. So we're going to have to go into the hallway. So, so this is about 10 feet, actually two walls. Nine, 10, 36. Okay, and then remember we have one hour as a touch up, so that'll be underlined. Okay, so the hall, this hall, one wall, that's eight feet. The den, which is right here, we have one wall in here, three, this is 10 feet, 10 by eight. This will be an option right here. So we'll do this wall. So that'd be 21 by 20. 
and then below the staircase. So what I'm doing is I'm actually walking off. So you see my paces, they're about three feet paces, a yard, so I'm walking it off. So, you know, something like that was about, you know, you know, seven paces. So seven times three is 21. And then you take the height of the wall and that's how you get the square footage of the wall. So I'm just basically getting square footages right now. And then we plug it into a calculator and I have a program that spits out actually the numbers for it. So we're gonna do this wall right here. So 15 feet times this is about 12 feet high. All right, now let's go see if there's actually paint in the garage. You know, I'm gonna throw probably three or four hours in the trim touch up just to, just to be safe. Okay, here we go. So this is, this is where we find out all the information. So this looks like it's the wall, wall paint. Now we'll be able to tell a little bit about what kind it is. So it's called, it's called Dennis Tracing Paper. Um, it's a custom match. Latex. Hmm. It's a, it says washable, it's a flat washable flat. So you can see right there that flat is not washable in there and it's not easily wiped off. So I don't, I, I think what we'll do is we'll try to touch up certain spots, but I, I don't think a lot of it will be able to touch up. It's just, it's the way it is sometimes. Old paint, I mean, and you know, Majestic 2 is okay, but it's not top, 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 top of the line. Usually flats that are at the top of the line are easily touch up the bowl. Okay, here we go. Now this is the good stuff right here. This is for the trim. Now, this is awesome trim. This Kelly Moore uh, paint um, is really good stuff. So we'll be able to use this. This is still gonna be good. So anytime we touch up baseboards, this is gonna be really nice. I'm hoping that we won't have to paint corner to corner on the baseboards, but we might just have, we might just have to do some testing. And then it looks like here's the family room right here. And this is KM Professional. This is not their, uh, their AcroShield or their Acroplex line. So um, it's good, but you know, it, it's not their top of the line. The, the, the higher quality, the easier it is to really touch up. So this is in the family room. It, you know, it might be able to, we might be able to use it, so. These are, this is for the high room. So this is right when you walk in the high walls. So hopefully it can touch up. We have a kitchen and family room. It's Kelly Moore again. This is San Francisco fog. So this is that gray color. So we have all the paint. So question is, is whether we're going to be able to touch it up. My feeling that it's not because I have a feeling that it was painted a few years ago. We'll try to touch it up because it's gonna save the customer a lot of time. If we have to paint corner to corner, it's a little bit more money, so we shall see. And it comes down to budget. The thing is though, is that when you paint with a real estate agent or, or when, when, when somebody's getting ready to sell, if you make your house super top notch, like when I sold my house, I made sure everything was touched up. I made everything look really nice. So if somebody could just walk in and say, I wanna buy it, and I don't have to do anything to it. If somebody were to buy this house, maybe they'll want to come in and change the colors right away, but if they see that it was clean and nicely taken care of and it was freshly painted, um, there won't be any gripes about it and it could just sell quicker. So hopefully they go, maybe they will, maybe they won't, so we'll see. All right, so that was me cruising around the house. Uh, I, was, I just wanted to show you guys a little bit about how we look at uh, the real estate world through kind of a painting contractor's eyes and seeing if we can maybe sell this home quicker and for more money. So if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. I'll respond with a video or maybe just type it below. But all our links are in the description if you, if you want to take a look at it, you want to start a business or you want to try something out yourself, we'll always have links for it. And 
Uh, thank you so much for, uh, for joining me today, and I hope you have a great day. Thank you.